<laughs> Hardest dumps possible. <laughs> yeah, dude, this was like, it wasn't like one of those like wafters out into the hallway. I yeah. thought I was in the clear. You go in, it was kind of faint. And you know, I was like, I'm like, did he even dump it? And I would go, yeah, I took two you. more. I went, oh, I think he did. <laughs> and then I, like, it was like a uh, funnel spider. I just lured me further and further in. I kept taking bigger stiffs. I'm like, <laughs> it's actually really fucked up in here. And I, he, he, uh, he was did like, did you apolog- get a crap out? Did he you- apologize? What did he say? He was like, I'm like, don't apologize, bro. I'm True. like, you did There's what you had to do. Of. I was like, I, I, I congratulated him. I'm like, you did what you absolutely needed to do. And I mean, you were he's right. eating that fucking helium food. Yeah, dude. They you have a show, you have there. a couple of brewskis, you're eating fucking the buffalo bites. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, you're dropping a fucking giant <laughs> horse pile. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find any fuel out there. There was no fuel. That's all. That was all decadent food in Indianapolis. Zero fuel in Indianapolis. Did you go exploring? <laughs> You I went to try to find food. It was like 10 degrees. I would just yeah. walk to get food. Yeah, that's why they have all the indoor. Like, there's all like walkways. There's malls, dude. Yeah. yeah. I was mm. up in those malls. Yeah. Last time I was there, I got lucky. Me, Bees, and the doctor went to March Madness. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That was fucking Ooh. sick. That's pretty sick. That was great. You got to get into sports for the road. It makes the road fucking rule. Especially for dumping. You get to go to a cool sporting event during the day. I'm, I'm, I'll never. I've tried like several times to like. Like, this is the time. I'm like, I, this is how I always thought. Like at some point, people have to make a conscious effort to enjoy sports. And I've tried doing it multiple times, and I'm like, really live dude, going to a live too? event. Is oh fun. god, I want to leave so bad. Man. Yeah, it's so long, dude. So we long. We had fun at the Sixers. <laughs> as fun. We had fun at the Sixers game. Yeah, we had fun. We were pounding around. That's fun. But it's like, yeah. think if that was think if that was a noon game and you had a Saturday night show. <sighs> I'd want to go home to the hotel. The hotel is nice. We well, always dude, do the in between show. Yeah, crap. Then you go to the show. Um, a crap, no problem. Oh, yeah. crapping. After you go to something cool, you go home and crap, beat. Oh, I have no problem crapping and all that <laughs> and then stuff. Then you go, oh, fuck. There's not. I didn't beat at all. Nap. I gotta take a shit and Dude, knock off. I didn't beat. I didn't beat whatsoever. That's my number one thing. Is when me and Sydney get a room. Oh, I'm you guys always, shared a room. We share a room. So I'm always worried. Yeah. Whenever we check in, I feel like people think we're a gay couple. First off the bat, we get in and I'm, I'm like, Hey, uh, yeah, we uh, we got here a show here. No funny business here. Just sh- I get, oh, every yeah. time I'm like, I don't say anything, but in my head I'm like, they think we're gay. and we come out of the room together. I'm always like, yo, oh, let's go down out here and see. I'm and like, Sid's not one to not be quiet about your physique probably the entire time. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk yeah. physique. Like, you're looking good, man. He'll be stretching. <laughs> he's a big fanny yeah. pack guy. Yes, that, that, was, the main, that was the main thing. And he's jacked and has a mustache. Yep. Dude, it's it killed, It haunts me the whole entire weekend. We're just coming out. We check in. And I'm like, two queens. <laughs> yeah, that's, what, two queens. that's what you are. Yeah, <laughs> That's what the reservation's under. <laughs> Damn, dude. This is the two queens comedy. It is, dude. It is. Queens of comedy. It is the two queens, dude. We don't, Pizza but nobody comedy. faps. I keep, I keep a strict no fat policy on the road. That's, you have to. But then now like, imagine, dude, me, Beezer, and the Dr. Sponge on the road, dude. There's God, nothing but dude, just, just the most devious man on earth. Think about how the turn was created. Now, you have a no fat. He went above and beyond yeah. what anyone would be like. The good what doctor did you do? making some phone calls. Yeah. <laughs> he had some house calls. He had some house calls. He was handling business. He had Dude. a house call. Now, this is while I was down in the lobby eating gravy out of a fucking ladle. <laughs> <laughs> it was the gravy train. You tell that kid to stalk that girl. He's like, she's a really like, I was like, you just go to her house, dude. Yeah. Get in that window. Kill that girl. The road will get you, dude. The road will get yeah. you. Yeah. Temp- there's just temptation, temptation everywhere. Temptation everywhere. The second you get in a hotel room, it's horny time. That oh, hotel's yeah. nice, though, in Indy. Oh, they yeah. They put you up? Well, they did fucking construction all day. I woke ah. up at 9 o'clock to just... <laughs> in the lobby? They've been doing that for like two years. Dude, it was, it was just... It was in a room. It was... I couldn't find where it was. I walked mm. throughout the hotel. Just, you know, I went to the gym and I would still hear it. I'm like, dude, this is everywhere. Dude, COVID hotels were great. Doing oh, the road during COVID fuck, it was man. so nice. Now, the show sucked because yeah. no one would show up. Mm. Dude, that was mm. tough. That's St. Louis Helium. Were you there with me, dude? That was all my birthday. You made the eight people on the Sunday <laughs> show sing happy birthday to me. <laughs> it was like, dude, then, we had that. We had that, that one waiter. Table. The one waiter fought me. Oh my god! Because I was I was making dark jokes. Holy on, shit! Uh, I forgot about on that. Juneteenth. Ooh yeah yeah you attacked you, dude. Yeah, we thought he was joking. You look fucking jacked in that, dude. That's what I woke up to. It went on for eight hours. Holy shit. Yeah, let me see that picture of you. That was a video I sent to Brittany. I know, but I would like to see you. It's me and a turtle. In a freeze. Oh, fuck. Let me get all the way back here. Oh, you got the the salad picks? I met the... No, this was... Oh, uh, this is after the show. That was after the show, bro. I got... Did I send you that pic of you at the cellar, killing? 
He's a yeah. fucking gnarly. In that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that cop's fucking stink rubbing off on you. You look like a Marine, dude. <laughs> but yeah, dude, we uh, I met the dudes who attacked the uh, oh my skank God. fest. They came to the show. I was Wait, so happy what? when you said that. He's I forgot he was a giant. Dude, too. they're huge. What Both happened? of them are. The bros that that attacked uh, Jason Ellis's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the Sad. fucking our saboteur, our assassin. Dude, oh. when I was shut the fuck up. He goes, hey, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Hey. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck up. And they're like, what did you say, man? A live podcast. Just pie fucking guess. be funny. <laughs> Dude, right up to a live podcast. It was the craziest shit in the world. Nothing but love for Jason Ellis, by the way. Oh, for sure. That was just It was more good. so. It, yeah, was, it, was, it was at Lewis. And, yeah, it was all it was the bros. It was at Lewis oh. and Soda. It, was, okay. it wasn't just Jason Ellis. It was all the bros. Yeah, that's important to, to, to make sure people, we wouldn't do that to Jason Ellis. No, we wouldn't just do crazy. that to somebody we didn't know. Yeah. If it was our boys up there, yes. I would send an assassin. At, you fucked it. So funny. They could all catch an assassin. So fucking funny. An man. assassin is as funny as Yeah, it is. that's hilarious. Unless it's us up there, then you better not do it. But well, you said it was Lewis and Soda were up there too? Yeah. Soder's, uh, Soder, uh, Soder was, he Soder was bird suspicious. Dog, His eyebrow was like. Soda, dude. He yeah. still stared daggers at you. It's like, <laughs> yeah, he, sorry. He, was, he, was, he, was, he wasn't really, he wasn't sold that that was a real thing. Okay. Lewis launched into action immediately. Oh, of course. What the fuck? That would be sick to dude. hire like a Blackwater's team to just like pull them all off stage. Take them outside and let's like call that game from Soul Jules. Dude, that's the true assassin. Dude, that's an assassin. He'll come fucking take you out. He took weight off, dude. Oh, man. Um, I can't wait till Russia collapses, dude. China Russia collapses. is gonna, China is gonna collapse. It dude, will. Adam Curtis stock, he called it. He said Coming it's down, a, bro. It's paper tiger, and the whole population's old now. And dude, that's our population's pretty old too. That's fine. We're gonna be all right. It will be. We will be fine. But we got to start killing them off, though. Who? The Geezies. We need more COVID. Yeah, it's going to be tough, Shane. It's interesting because they drive a lot of our economy, those geezers. The geezers? Yeah, man. We're going we're gonna to hit a, the, the 2020s. We're going to hit like a pretty hard inflation. Interest rates are going up and we're going to have some pretty high taxation. 50-year economic cycles. So we got to do the opposite of Reaganomics, basically, because we're going to double down on Reaganomics. It's going to make everything worse. Mm. And then we have to do the opposite. I mean, just you'll see. Check me out in 2030. 2030 after that, we're good. Yeah. Everything's good. Yeah. That That's can't be correct. Dude, it's 50-year cycles. Look back at on history. If you look throughout history, there's never been a time where, all right, now we're good. In 30 or 10 years, mm -hmm. it's retarded to be like, okay, in 10 years, we're good. Not good forever. We're good for another, let's say, 30, oh, a little 40 Pax years. Romana. 30, 40 years. And yeah. then we'll have whatever we use to get us out of this problem will cause us a new problem. We'll have to switch, you know, figure yeah, it out. Yeah, that seems pretty simple. Yeah, exactly. It's every 50 years. Yeah. So, but it's going to... It's going to be nice, dude. When people start carving up China, people start that's carving up good. Russia. Oh, that's going to be good stuff, dude. That's going to be immense loss of life. Oh, it'll be for sure. Eastern Europe's going to. Oh, that's the other thing that's sick, too. France and uh, Germany. Really? They're, they're not going to back us. They're not going to back us as we kind of aggress Europe. Poland will. And Eastern, Eastern European countries will. They'll be handsomely rewarded. France and fucking Germany. So Eastern Europe's going to get the Xboxes as their fucking Christmas gifts. Yes. France and Germany, you get nothing for thing. Christmas. We'll get you guys a little GameCube. <laughs> if that. You guys are still going to get they're stuff. They're going to get cold, dude. Because we're always going to give you stuff. They're going to, they're, they yeah. got, this is what the guy predicts. It'll be funny because I'm, I'm excited for being like 50 and being like, well, this actually happened. But it's like, dude, it'll be tight. If Eastern Europe starts to be like a, almost like, you know, they'll still have a lot of power, uh, Western, Western Europe. But if they have to start contending with Eastern Europe, that's very funny. Poland, dude, just fucking run a train. Poland dude. could run a train. You Poland, know Germany, just shut the fuck up, dude. Prussia used to run a train. Yeah, bro. That's pretty much Eastern. Yeah. It's we'll Eastern see. Germany, yeah. It'll be interesting. Wow. I mean, dude, you're telling me. Wow. I'm on I the edge of wait. my seat right now. You got to play Total War, dude. You want to see what I think 50 now years, I could. You want to see what 50 years looks like? Play a little Total I War. I think now I'm able to do it. Now bro. that I totally understand, like, geopolitical fault play lines. Play Rome, too. Play Ooh. Attila. Ooh. You get to bring back, you can get the... You can download Charlemagne, that campaign. What? Dude. That's what I do. And I, then I become to. the Saxons and I and I take over England. And I go into England. Once the Romans start leaving England, I say, now's my time to move in. Let's now's go. my time. Yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah. speaking of time, yeah, that's the end here. of the podcast. Oh, also go to Bananas. Uh, oh, yeah. Bananas oh, yeah, 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 yeah. in North Jersey. And I added a new show to Austin. 
Friday night, oh, 1030 show. Oh, baby. Cap City there? Comedy Club. Cap City. I think nice. uh, I think I think Helium's about done giving you the fuck. It's big boy rooms, dude. Yeah, I'm you done. Can't I'm, keep I'm finishing up little boys. That's it. Does Cap City have a small room? They have a little boy. Oh, they have a new, I think it's a it's new, a new place. venue. Yeah, it yeah. is. It so this is. will be the Cap Austin will be the end of the little boy tour, dude. <laughs> little boy, little room tour. They're pretty sick. Bro, the little boy tour lasted it was sick. three shows. It was That's sick. nothing, baby. Oh That's no, great. That, that was yeah, when I started That's stabbing, great. it was fun. They put you in there. They're like, we'll see what the kid can do. Turns out he sells out, bro. Sells out a little. I might do the Little Boys forever. Just do like five shows. No. Start at 2 p.m. <laughs> That'd be nice. You should start wearing turtlenecks. I did. I wore a turtleneck all in Indianapolis the whole time. Maybe that's on stage. That picture is probably where I got that idea. But if you yeah. hosted a 2 p.m. show <laughs> in, a <turtleneck. laughs> in a turtleneck and then yeah, just go over like, time. here's the future. I told you I was done, and then I was like, "Oh fuck!" I think I fucked up my time. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I was just like, "Nope, I'm still going." And I went for another like ten. I remember 15. that's when I called you after the worst show I've ever had. Yeah. And you were like, well, "I just got off stage earlier." I was like, "Holy shit, dude! I've never done that." But I got right back on. <laughs> yeah, that's great, dude. It was Mr. Right. Leaving the stage and be like, Wait, "All right, you, that's it for me." Like, oh, I thought I was done. I've seen that happen once. I didn't. It was the I didn't start my I've watch. Yeah. Yeah. It, it didn't, I didn't start my watch, and the dude was like, "Hit me with the light," and I was like. Maybe I'm done. And then all of a sudden, when I went, and I was like, I'm done. And I went to get off, and the guy was like, gave me a weird look. But that was because I was going to have Sid come up and fuck around. I didn't. Yeah. So he gave me a weird look. And I was like, The two queens are going to riff? Two queens riff. <laughs> we riff, dude. Me and the queens. I know the queens riff. <laughs> we riff, dude. It was I know fun. the queens riff. What, at the end of the show? Gossip? Yeah. We gossiped off there, dude. <laughs> you guys chit chat. We did a gossip. little bit of relational aggression <laughs> yeah. against the crowd. Dude, it was sick. How could like Sidney start threatening people? You two and Sidney on stage. He was be very funny. He was, Sidney was ripping, bro. We had a. Uh, He's a good riffer. My top, my top thing right away is I came out and immediately accused all of them of joining the Ku Klux Klan. Nice. That made very people very uncomfortable. Indiana, bro. Yeah, I know. I was like, I heard you guys have a big thing about that. And they're yeah. always, they were good sports. So I'll give them that. They, yeah, they paid tickets to see you. But sometimes those crowds get weird when you bring up stuff like that. Of course. It was a, dude, it's classic. What do you guys do for fun around here? We're not joining the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah. Like, uh. You guys better not be in the Klan or I'm leaving. Oh, yeah. Who here is in the clan? All right, guys. Let's get out of here. I have to go do a comedy show. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) You got to get someone in the face. I might sock it. You deserve deserve to get a sock one. I deserve one. Yeah, one sock. I might might sock someone. Uh, someone, You might sock someone here right now. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. What makes you think I wouldn't want well, citrus skull? Yeah. You know I'm addicted to it. <laughs> sorry, you know you're my only chance of getting it. I, was, I thought you figured it out. I thought you had a. I thought you had a, uh, a, a supply, a backup supply. Backup supply. Since when? I, I got you. <laughs> some last time Why would you think that? I got you some last time I saw you. You got me three a week ago. I'm sorry. You know I'm sorry. And they're all expired. I still tried. I let you down. You know I didn't mean to. You did let me down. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I didn't it's mean just it. an easy task. You're driving past it. It's six minutes, and it changes my whole week. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry. You know how sorry I am. No, I don't. <laughs> it's Tuesday, Wednesday. When do you leave? When do you fly? Friday. I got to go to Houston on Friday. That's Skull Town, though, at least. Maybe there's Skull. They, most cities don't have good Skulls. Citrus. Yeah, they don't have the Citrus. Yeah. We have to do some winter mint. I mean, I just have to grip my teeth. True. And bear it. Speaking of fucking uh, nicotine oh, yeah. edibles. Ads. Yeah, speaking of nicotine edibles. Guardini, where are we at in this little voyage? Beautiful. Guys, let me tell you something. Oh, nice. We got some good ones this week. Nice. Guys, let me tell you about True Classic. Most t-shirts are way too tight. And they make your gut look way too big. (laughs) True Classic is the one-stop shop for casual crewnecks, polos, and fat guy activewear. What is this? (laughs) It's fat clothes. You got me what? (laughs) For Jack. They're for Jack. They got me fucked up. Yo, boy, you got me fucked up. Yeah, they got me way fucked up, dude. Why are you laughing? What's so funny about it, man? I'm just laughing. Why do you think it's funny? I think it's funny, dude. Because I've had a, I've, I'm up and down to my weight loss journey myself, dude. I'll be back. I'll be back in a true classic in no time. True classics are nice, dude. They're good. They're good. They they accentuate your chest. That's the thing. My my shirts are too small for my chest. <laughs> Mandatory personal endorsement. I do have. Did you get them in the mail? I got no. three. I like them. They're nice. I actually bought them before. Yeah, they're good. I just bought black T-shirts. 
True classics. True classics aren't just for fat guys. Dude. <laughs> I know. I'm kidding. I'm so you looking at me with these eyes? <laughs> I'm not looking at you at all. Like you anything. love to bring me down, dude. You <laughs> no, love dude. to make me feel bad, what dude. What the hell, dude? <laughs> dude. No, they're good, dude. It's all their gear, Shane. All you their love gear is top me feel quality. lesser than. Like it, what? You all say, the, Shane, all you do is wear true classics because you can't fit. In fucking, <laughs> I did it, dude. <laughs> no, I wear, gear, true, I wear true classics. The I good, have three in my closet. I wear them. Yeah, I feel great in them, dude. Right. They make my dick look bigger, too. <laughs> yeah. All their gear is top-notch quality at great prices. Try their polos and workout shirt. Oh, wow. For all you fat fucks out there, they have a long body option and up to sizes up to 3XL. They wrote that? Yeah, they fucking wrote that. Guys, don't drop the ball. Upgrade your wardrobe with True Classic. Get 25% off at trueclassic.com with the code DRENCHED. Free shipping included on purchases over $100. That's 25% off of trueclassic.com with code DRENCHED. All jokes are pretty nice t-shirts. They are nice. And strengthen your core wardrobe with the True Classic today. Yeah, they're yeah. nice tees. Don't like strengthen them. your core. Just yeah. buy a shirt. Yeah. That it, that's like, that's the thing of it. Apparently, like, it goes snug on the shoulders. Yeah, that's nice. Kind of That's the problem out. about being a fat guy. I mean, you, you, the sleeves stick out yep. at like a weird uh-huh. angle. Make you look like a doofus. Yeah, exactly. So you can kind of get like a that fucking big doofus. You'd be like, I'm not fat. I'm a fucking Jack I'm Samoan not even guy. I'm fat at all. I'm fair Samoan. Skin. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, Oos? Yeah, what's up, Oos? Uh... <laughs> NBA fans, the wait is over. Basketball Yo, is back. What? We're sponsored by the NBA. <laughs> I wish, dude. So tip off the season with <laughs> DraftKings Sportsbook. Let's go. An official sports betting partner of the NBA. NBA starts tonight, Matthew. Does it really? Seventy Sixers opening Ooh, up against the good. at the Boston Celtics. Oh, I can't wait! Tonight we got Flyers. What? Fucking uh, Seventy Sixers and the Phillies. Phillies playoff game one starts. It's gonna tonight. be jamming down there. Let me tell you something. New customers can make any five dollar NBA money line bet and get two hundred dollars in free bets if your team yeah, that's wins. Fucking crazy. In addition to the usual bets, everyone can boost their winnings up to one hundred percent with DraftKings stepped up same game parlays. Go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app, opt in, and place a stepped-up same-game parlay today. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code DRENCHED. Make any $5 bet this week and get $200 in free bets if your team wins. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code DRENCHED. Then when age and eligibility restrictions apply, see show notes for details. DraftKings, now can win some money. This is the last one. This, I'm genuinely excited about this. Like, for real. Ready to feel like a man? Yeah. <laughs> Eat some organs. What? Eat some organs. Eat organs? These are the uh, heart and soil. Beef organs are the most nutrient-dense. We, we have these. These are I the know. things that get my dick hard. Go <laughs> <laughs> Beef organs are the most nutrient-dense food on the planet. That's why they're called nature's multivitamin. Heart and soil is helping people reclaim their birthright. Okay, brother. To <laughs> radical health. <laughs> Personal endorsement. How's it made you feel? I will say I take the ones that have the bull testicles. Oh, yeah. Those hard and soil. pills. Yes. I thought, they, I thought we were talking about actual organ eating. No, them. no, no, no. These are pill. They're, oh, yeah. The pills. I have desiccated. Them. Yes. They're desiccated. Rock hard fucking bonus. Bro, I will say that's that's true. Facts. Yes. I've yes. Been waking it does up with, make your penis actually feel be- mentally. That's all it is. True, but most well, of the time losing erections is a mental game. True. Take very, some of these bull testicles, you'll be like, dude, my test is I'm so a, high. Bull, I'm a bull god, dude. I am bull. But dude, I will say, I looked, into it. I looked into it. Doris himself. I looked into it. Before Doris, there, there, there's a, there is, there is stuff about do eating bull testicles raise your testosterone? And apparently, the the consensus is only if they're raw, like desiccated organs, which I looked up. Heart and soil is. So they will raise your test a little if you eat the bull, t- the bull thing. And I, dude, I was eating them, not thinking about it. And That's I was why like, you've been so fucking mean to me. What the fuck are you your talking about? Your testosterone is so high. You've been like, <laughs> <laughs> People ate organs for thousands of years and never suffered from obesity, heart disease, autoimmune issues, or infertility because they were eating organs, nature's most treasured foods. Founded by Dr. Paul Saladino, heart and soil supplements Paul are made Saladino, from grass the head of finish the beef organs. Feel like a man when you take supplements made from liver, heart, kidneys, spleen, and most of all, and least gay, testicles. Let heart and soil they help you. say least re- gay? No, I made it Damn up. Damn it. Heart, <laughs> let heart and soil help you reclaim their birthright to radical health. Help you reclaim their, whose who's birthright are we talking about? You know. You guys got to fix that heart and soil. Go to heartandsoil.co and use code DRENCH10 for 10% off your first order. That's heartandsoil.co and use code 
drenched 10 offer applies to one-time purchases not subscriptions try them today and see how you feel give it a shot would you i will say i do like i do take those things i like them i take all that stuff dude i've I'm, I'm been pigging on suppies you gotta watch out is what it is who knows what you're doing to your brain chemistry Definitely improving it no matter what. <laughs> it's, it's not the best. <laughs> Who knows where your mind's going to be? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen to me. Although, you never know, dude. Maybe I'll die on the way home. Ooh. Car accident. People happen all the time to people. What the fuck? I could. Statistically, I could die in a car accident on the way home. I don't think I will. Oh, I sure hope not, but Because I'm paying attention. Yeah, knock on, no, don't knock on wood. That's superstition. Yeah, don't knock on wood and then do the sign of the cross. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. That's a superstition. Sign of the cross is very, very Sorry, real. Sorry, I was just worried. I appreciate. No, I appreciate you, Sean. We, 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 and back to the show, guys. Now it's time to tune back into the number one hit podcast, <laughs> Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast. Yeah, I wonder what they're going to do with about the third world. They'll they'll figure something out with that. I think those guys are going to figure it out. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I mean, dude, that has been. I I think we're gonna get slammed in history because yeah. it's like there's there there was a guy on rogan basically being like they're slaves making all in the congo lithium the batteries congo, yeah. and shit and everyone's kind of enjoying basically slave labor yeah. currently i think they're gonna look back and be like wait they were just like letting people start i think some i think someone dies of starvation every like seven minutes or something yeah so i think they're gonna be like that wasn't the nicest of everybody in the world just be complaining be like i ate too much again my belly hurts. Some yeah, guys, like, like, I don't even want Taco Bell, but I'm gonna order it. <laughs> yeah, some oh. guy on the other side of the world's like, my belly hurts too, <laughs> but from different stuff. Yeah, Everybody's belly gonna, hurts, dude. I think we're gonna look back on that and go, "Ooh, that was tough." No, why are your eyes so big? Sharing information. Yeah, what you got? Do you guys want to guess how many people die each day from starvation? Uh, I'm gonna In go fifteen thousand. In the world, fifteen thousand, maybe. Shane. I'll stick with Matt. I like that. 25,000 ah. people, including 10,000 children. So 15,000 adults die every day of starvation. And 10,000 kids? Yes. Yikes. God, that's a tough way to go. Yeah, and then there's like a whole bunch of people who aren't dying, or like literally dying from it, but are like being... Yeah. 3.1 million children die a year of starvation. Jeez, man, that's pretty bad. Nearly half of them <sighs> under the age of five. Oh. <laughs> terrible terrible i'm telling you and and i didn't I, even get extra chicken in my fucking sweet green that's what i'm saying yeah I, i'm pretty sure three meals a day is complete bull i don't think you need three meals a day at all it's a complete fabrication yeah i've been trying to rely as much as i can I'm a unit and i don't eat three meals a day yeah you you actually i i would say i probably eat more than you yeah I drink a lot yeah true Going through the calories. <laughs> I drink a lot. I've been trying to rely uh, strictly on my inner signals to eat. Really? When, yeah. you're so, when it's time to eat? You yeah, eat. when it's time to eat, I eat. I'm not yeah. just going to eat because it's you like, know, oh, it's, oh, it's, yeah. it's 9 o'clock. Although time I do eat, eat sometimes just like I'm bored. I do it all the time. Yeah. I'm trying to stop. I'm trying to just rely on my inner signals for as much stuff as possible. Yeah. It's my, right now, inner signals, Apollonian state. That's what I'm working with right Apollonian now. Apollonian state? Yeah, that, that's just when you like choose to put the not not a delusionally positive spin on things, but you identify if you're just being negative for the sake of being negative. If you are being negative, to try to be negative, yeah, not even to try, just to be like, yeah, is this is this negative interpretation of the events some sort of automatic thing I'm putting on it, or is just just like you know, because you don't want to do two rose colored glasses, but there's a lot of times I catch myself yeah. being a fucking just a brat for no reason, being a little grimace, auto brat. I go into auto brat mode where I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the other day, <laughs> takes it, I I let you guys know when I'm in brat mode. Yeah. I tell you, I go I'm being nice. a fucking douche about this. Yeah, there's yeah. an issue that I'm mad about. I know I'm being gay about it. Yeah, but just let me do my thing. This is it. Yeah, I'm gonna come out of it. Sorry, I'm telling you about it. It's gay. I'm telling you about yeah. it. Yeah, but you yeah. need to do that though, because I can come out and say, "Well, you're that's actually the case." And you go, <laughs> "What the hell?" It turns yeah. out it was every out. once in a while, yeah, it's nice to get some affirmation. Yeah, you need it. Yeah, you can. It's pretty nuts. I mean, if you think about it, if you didn't talk to anyone else ever, you'll just fucking completely lose your mind. Yeah, pretty crazy. Hey, yeah, keep it fucking down out there, dude. God, yo, the news is on. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, another one. We dude. keep chugging along, brother. But yeah, no, I. Uh, that'll I like be a big the, one. They're the gonna negativity. Out. Negativity is. Yeah, you gotta, it'll get you. Yeah, you gotta bring it up. 
Yeah, they did. That's there's a whole fuck. What's this guy's name? Marty Seligman, I think. And that that was his whole field of study was like figuring out basically that people default to just negative interpretations of events, and you become that becomes your autopilot of how you interpret everything that's happening to you. And they were saying like overwhelmingly, those people become clinically depressed. Yeah, but then they were saying like you can compl- the Apollonian state is going. Wait a second. I don't have to be miserable about this. Or like yeah. basically knowing that things aren't permanent. You can be like, well, yeah, this sucks, but this won't be permanent. That's the, that's apparently the hallmark of people who are clinically depressed. They go, and it's never going to end. And it's like, yeah. you're just making, you're literally just making that. You have It'll no pass. idea. You have It'll no pass. idea. Yeah, exactly. Until but, it doesn't. And then you die and then it passes. Exactly. Eventually it passes. It does. Yeah, I've been less and less rattled by death as I get older. Like significantly less rattled by death. I mean, again, mm. obviously, if like someone came in with their gun, I'd be scared. Yeah. But, like, it used to, like, get me in my quieter moments being like, Ooh, and now I'm just kind of like, yeah, man, I'm fucking. Yeah. Doosh. <laughs> Doosh. For sure. One day I'm going <laughs> to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I get sad about other people. I, I'm more sad. sad thinking about you dying than me. You th- Really? That's a sweet it's thing kind of a bummer. Say. Yeah. It's That's a, a bummer thing thinking that you're going to be fucking dirt someday. Yeah. I might not. You'll never die. <laughs> you think you might upload? You might get a clone, dude. I might you get, might get a clone. They might be like, he was on to something. We've got to say it. Did you hear Emancipation Barclamation? <laughs> Build a time machine. Bring him back. <laughs> bring him into the future. You're going to submit your 23 and me. They're going to say, take that Store one. Store that one. That's going to be a, they're gonna, like a little like futuristic bi- like biological technology in a metal briefcase. Yeah. <laughs> Some guys have to fight people off the submachine with lasers, gun. dude. We gotta and recreate. The, we gotta recreate the Barclamation Proclamation. Whoever came up with that, where the, <laughs> the robots have taken over. Only the best sense of humor can stop them. <laughs> Who's the guy who said Emancipation Barclamation? <laughs> <laughs> Golly, I'm telling you, man. God, I was telling you. I was telling you on the way over here. If you think about it, how much better than silence is this podcast? It's so much better I than silence. You. It's for real. It's so much better it's than 50, silence. 50. Although silence can be tight, but it's silence is you gotta Silence work is it. tight if I don't have a grumbly belly and fucking breathing weird. <laughs> then I, I, I need it, dude. The second so I'm sitting or standing all day, the second I lay flat, my stomach's just <laughs> I'm just laying there, just like Jesus fucking Christ. The crank starts talking. Dude, the crank starts talking on over here. You'll hear something on the side, you'll hear something down there. It's so fucking big. You hear them all over the place. It's echoing. The rainforest. It's echoing. It's so loud. Dude, I lay down at night. It's just animals screaming. Bro. That'd, be, that'd be funny if your like gut floor were like that big, like the cells yeah, of probiotics bugs, were like dude. little slime soccer. Yeah. Just, <laughs> How nice is slime soccer? I'm not sure I know what slime soccer is. You guys never play slime soccer on the on the desktop where it's like you're a little looks like you're a little gumdrop and you can play soccer against p- other people or the computer and you just go forward, up and back. No, let me take a look. Dude, take a gander at slime soccer. I still, every now and again, will play that game against a computer. I mean, I'm pretty nasty. But dude, slime side. And you can, oh, no, know what it is? You can play against someone where you play on one side of the keyboard, they play on the no, other side. No, I don't of remember the this. Bro, slime soccer, give it a look. If it's you and another person, I try to get Brittany to play me in it all the time. She's like, I'm not playing this. I think there's the, there's the direction buttons, and I get like A, S, W, D. I'm, psh, got my fingers on there. Just a girl who loves soccer and slime. Yo, bro. <laughs> I might get that. The hell is that? Oh, no, a classic T-shirt. Just a girl who loves soccer and slime. Are they talking about the Young Slime Gang? I don't know. All day I think about, dude. There's so many of these. All day I think about soccer and slime. What kind of slime are they thinking the about? The fuck is this? They trying to break into my laundry and steal my slime? What is this f- fucking world? We look at this. Soccer <laughs> plus slime equals yeah, life. I just saw that. The fuck is what this? What is that? Can we get to the bottom of that, please? I don't know. Slime. Play soccer, (laughs) make slime. What? Like uh, Nickelodeon? I don't know, dude. We got to get to the bottom of that. You remember in like in high school when all the girl teams had like slut mantras on their jerseys? Like cheerleaders do it on the bleachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Volleyball players do it on the hard wood. It's like, yo, dude, what the fuck? These are girls, bro. Fucking whores. You guys going to the? We guys going to the regional tournament on the old island? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? What do you get the bottom about? of soccer and slime? Little bitch ass problem. 
That is you. <laughs> that is you right now. What was that about? I don't know. He's being he's being grumpy. Uh, Are you sleepy? Not at all. Bill lost twice. I'm chillaxing. Uh, he's he's been yeah, very upset about the Madden. Now he's trying to experience. win with words, you know? Absolute learning experience. What, with the Madden? You're not going to win every day, dude. Every day you get up, it's not going to be a double. You got to win though. once, though. Huh? You heard me, motherfucker. <laughs> huh? <laughs> no. That's when Bill gets tired. He goes, huh? <laughs> what? If I lose at pool, my mental health is gone. Oh, yeah. You're I'm like, I'm like you a six year old that has been at the birthday party for too long. Get him out of the room. <laughs> I'm like a, holding in a tantrum, like an adult tantrum. That Madden loss was that was. Brutal. I got two real tough losses. What do you that was a really tough <laughs> loss. Excited that about sucked, that, dude. We got to go scoring back. on the last second, then missing the two point conversion on a insane. You should have scored. I know the game like actually glitched and didn't let you score. Yeah, it's literally insane. It's pretty tight. It's like yeah. you're running Game Shark on it. <laughs> Maybe I am. New Grant that thought was coming out. Maybe yeah. I do. We have a game genie. Can't believe you guys are fighting when our Eagles won last night, dude. That was Huge fun. Victory. That was a very big victory. That was awesome, dude. Yeah. Comeback. We needed it, dude. The whole city needed it. You oh, know? Man. It's been a lot of bad <laughs> shit happening in Philadelphia. Yeah. That's what I, I've talked about it before, but that always bothers me. That's like this, like. What, the hipsters with bad things happening? Y- yeah. Like? like the weird merch hipsters. Yeah, you guys about, get like, gunned down. Oh, because <laughs> about when Trump said bad things happen in Philly. Is that that's what, that what that is? That's from. Yeah. yeah. But then they wear it like bad things happen in Philadelphia. It's like, well, yeah. it's not people, good. They have, it's cool terrible. for gentrifying people yeah. to wear a thing that's yeah. celebrating yeah. local gun violence. It's fucking insane. Three 13 year olds. It's so tough down. where I live. <laughs> bad. Nobody likes us and we don't care. It's like, no, nobody likes you because you're a fucking pussy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nobody likes us and we don't care. There was like stores around me when I where I lived that sold all that stuff. Get vaccinated. Just like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's got gritty on it. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, did I upset you? It is. It's like white pussies top stuff, dude. But white pussies are fucking us. pissing me the fuck off. Nobody fucking likes us. I live in a tough. White pussies. It's so bitch. white pussies have had a near decade run of being complete fucking pussies yeah. and in it control. Be, of just it might stop being it's cool. almost ten straight yeah. years. The pendulum has not. You, put, has your, you put your finger in the dam of white pussies early on and almost bit it off, <laughs> yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> I tried my best. You really did. Right when I moved to Philly, I was like, you guys got to stop being white pussies. And they're like, nah. <laughs> they try to kill you. Yeah, they try to kill me with, ju- with just white pussy methods. It, true. He was mean to me yeah. one time. <laughs> like, yeah, that was funny. That's just not a way to live, bro. There's not a th- word pussies? you could say to me that would, I'd be like, dude, seriously, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like you say, yeah, that's kind of retarded. And like, you're not even thinking about it. People yeah. are like, dude, seriously, that's not cool. My cousin's retarded. I was like, is he good at shit? <laughs> yeah. It's like, this is retarded. This isn't good. Is I don't he know. good at shit or is he one of the like stationary ones? Because <laughs> <laughs> stationary ones are cool shit tapping. too. <laughs> I like yeah. all of them. I like to think white pussies have been defeated a little bit. White pussies no, are, they're on the, this is where they're the most dangerous. What? They have they're a wounded animal, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is, this is when they actually. You know, this is when, it's like an old tiger, you know. True. Yeah. The white pussies still have one more attack in them. They're still you still see them out there it's on the like, airlines. Yeah. Fully, they are all fully masked up. The white pussies got fucked by Israel Palestine. That's oh their, yeah, oh. that's such a difficult one to be a white pussy on. True. Oh, they like they like to be bad secretly a lot of the white Gaza. pussies are very. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of the white pussies are Zionists. <laughs> so then there's a rift. That's why I said, like, that's what I was telling Spade that, like, there's all these, like, Twitter accounts that, like, make fun of all these people, and this happened, and it was just, like, an absolute blender, and they have no idea. Yeah, no one knows it. which like, side. I am just going to say this. Like, j- like I don't have any, like, it's, but people dying is bad. They're just, they've all got to just hot, be. It's like these hot girls in tight pants are protecting all these kids from Hamas. <laughs> Body parts everywhere. What's happening? I think they, they all, the yeah, weirdest. Might have been a mistake. No, 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 no. <laughs> the weirdest part is they all, like, all the white pussies will eventually fall off to either losing their mind trying to fucking turn into a girl or rape, like, they, like, sexually assault chicks. They True. all do. Dude, there is a, the, there's the co- white a lot pussies. of causation correlation with the pet. They're, they're very pesty. The white pussies <laughs> that we ran into, if you find them on the internet now, they've all dis- the cockroaches. They've disappeared. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but true. when you shine the light on them, you're like, oh, what the fuck happened, dude? Yeah. Why did you change your name? You changed everything. <laughs> they're very palsy. I, dude, if I spent the last 10 years of my life, that's being rage. Pussy, I'd fucking, I'd, I'd shake my ass. This is what I'm saying. Out, like, like, the yeah. internet did that because they could talk and say things that weren't to your face. Yeah, true. So it like ramped up a dark wolf inside them. 
You don't feed that you wolf. You fucking fascist. <laughs> dude, I don't even know what that means. Like, dude, I'm doing an open mic. <laughs> I got 50 bucks for this. Fascist, no. True. I'm like, maybe a fascist is someone who works for their dad when they're 35. <laughs> like, I guess I'm a fascist. Dude. <laughs> fucking capitalist pig. It's like, anyway, I don't I'm sorry to go anyone. fund me because the fucking capitalists are turning off my pico. <laughs> <laughs> they, dude, I, I know this. There's a lot of sassy girls Mom. with like anti-capitalist shit on. Yeah. yeah. There's so, there's this one chick that I like know and she moved and all of her shit is like go fund me can't my friend can't make rent you guys gotta help them it's like dude get your shit together stop missing rent like this isn't good for you no one like this is bad it's like we need we need our like they'll get their surgeries paid for by GoFundMe all this shit yeah you're obsessed they're ultimate tricksters what type of surgeries top needed surgeries or no well depends. he's obsessed oh, yeah. dude that's a tricky question. That is a tricky question, Bill, and I'm glad you brought that up because it is. And I was being a little insensitive. Yeah, sure. but I really, at some point, the white pussies have to go by the wayside and let white they'll, they'll get bees something else. come back. <laughs> True. Dude, it could be time for the white bees to Dude, rise that would be, up. Dude. If I had five, <laughs> five more, like five years left in my life where like shit just went back to the world, I'd be like, what's gay? <laughs> no way. <laughs> That is pretty fucking retarded. <laughs> Just in a deathbed, rocking in a chair. <laughs> Yo, nice. don't touch the catheter. Can I, can I please? Can I don't touch the catheter. Can I have a fucking I have a mail nurse, nurse? please? Pussy. Fucking, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the doctor comes in. Yo, what's up, pussy? <laughs> um, sir, we're going to have you removed. Yo, what's Get up, out of here. You shouldn't have said pussy. You shouldn't have said gay. That is, We're just, not offering you health care anymore. I can't get over about getting angry and shit like that. It's like what? hearing someone like being out hearing the a dinner, bad word and being dude, upset. Dude, there's being a lot out of the dudes. dinner and someone said something bad, you're just like <laughs> <laughs> You just go eating a cob salad, it's like, bro, chill. <laughs> like just mind your fucking business. It's, but it's girl brain. You're like you're taking on girl brain. Because you're like, that's yeah. gonna piss my If you're out to dinner though, also you are in girl brain. I went to the. We both True. had a nice magical weekend where we went to the theater. True. Both of <laughs> Matthew and I happened to both, and you see, he's cultured already. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped your marbles. But. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. A little squeaky, dude. Legs crossed, squeaker. <laughs> Pew. <laughs> a little buzzer beater. <laughs> uh, Matthew and I both had very cultured experiences at we the did. theater. Matt's all Hamilton. <laughs> I was on Broadway. I was on Broadway. Dude, that's the worst. Say it, Matt flew to New York it's to go see Hamilton on Broadway. The rapping. I'll we'll say, at the, the beginning, <laughs> I, I will say, I'll be so honest. gay. You know, here's the thing. You go in, it, it, the beginning is just a never-ending Macklemore song. It's I'll just take like, your word for it. Rap, 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 rap. Please, dude, you almost went to fucking, you know where, dude. Get the hell out of Disney my World? I told you I wasn't going to go. <laughs> you almost went, though. They almost. I got out on a technicality. You got out on a, the wildest technicality. <laughs> <laughs> you got out on the funniest possible technicality. Yeah. Here's the thing. I'm just collecting experience Fire at this point. I have a totally open mind. I agree. Yeah. Matt, I, I've i just had to take the opportunity to mock totally. you for that. So anyway, pretty funny. Hamilton. I knew the day was coming anyway. I knew my days were numbered, dude. So you get, here's a cool Man, thing. You, you evaded that for a long ass time. What? Hamilton? Yeah. Whose idea was that? My friend Wes's. He set it up. I'll be here's the thing. I had a good time. Dude, I went in there. I had a good time. Don't you fuckers. Did he bring his boyfriend? Uh Uh-huh. Dude. Wow. That's gay. Wow, dude. I've really been jonesing to see Hamilton. (laughs) It was a great production. You never hear the thing. He's sleepy. He needs some sleep. This is is so wretched. Let's see Hamilton. You're being wretched. Dude. I'll be honest, oh, I went in there, I said, I'm not looking forward to this play, because I, I saw the beginning of it on TV. Hey, Sean, if you would have fallen. That would have been the best. If you would have taken out your fine china, Cardini would have fucking wrecked your china. Took out the camera. The bug thing I got. And then just a bunch of I'm sorry's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Matthew's not here. He's getting nose surgery. Did you get a nose job? No, no, he broke his nose. What did he do? He was body surfing and he smashed his face. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. How bad of it? Did he have like, the shattered his nose? Did he have the black Damn. eyes? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, the talk of like this. Yeah, he was fucked. So it's going to be a big reveal when he gets here. Like oh, a I new face. The thing that they take it <laughs> off. And that's, goes, that's today. He's getting his like stints out of his nose today. Do you think uh, his family's going to be around? Uh, and then I, Billy's going to be like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. I told uh, I told his lovely wife to film him. 
when he was post surgery, thinking it would be funny. I hope yeah. but he put a black was nose fucked on. up on drugs, and he was furious. <laughs> he was mad. Yeah, he was high on. He just got out of surgery. He was like, "Get the fuck out of me!" <laughs> <laughs> I always come goes, out. say hi to Shane. He goes. Is this what you wanted, you sick fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put that video on the Patreon. I can't. I can't do that because he's like, he should have done the thing where he's, he's like, hand fucked. me a mirror, like Jack, like yeah, Joker yeah, or Batman. Yeah. He's like, what did you do to me? Yeah. They what should if he sit looks him up. Cool. What if he sounds different? He may. He's like, hey. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> goes back like, hey. Grounding. You hey. know the body makes damn <laughs> <Yeah. day." laughs> That's crazy. So he broke his nose that bad. Yeah. He sent me the x-ray. He is, yeah. What the he fuck is body it. surfing? He's, smashed, he's just riding a wave. Like, just <laughs> oh, just yeah. a wave. It's, laying, it's laying down surfing. <laughs> yeah. Without, Lay down surfing. Yeah, but no board. What? He's just riding the wave. <laughs> just him. Like a and fish? he went straight into either a person Wait, so or there's the ground. No, there's no board involved in body no, surfing? No, he goes like... He's, he's just waiting for you. know what a thing when you're a kid? He's yeah, let the wave take you. With the wave. And he shattered his he nose. He shattered his nose. Oh, Damn. In man. front of his family. He, he was talking. He was like telling his kids like, hey, watch this. Oh, <laughs> and then blood just yeah, covered it down. came up. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was just... That's how the fuck to go. Dude, that's fucking intense. Yeah, that is intense. So he had the surgery today. So he'll be back yeah. next week. He'll be back next week. With his new nose. Yeah. Damn. He's going to be looking good, dude. He's gonna yeah, be you, so hot. But you've seen it? No. Oh. I mean, yeah, I've seen what he looks like now, but it's covered up. <laughs> He's got a bandage and it's taped to his face. He's like, dude, this fucking sucks. I can't wait for that reveal. <laughs> Yeah. I hope he shows up like it looks just like a classic fake, but like mustache nose. Like, <laughs> like mustache just nose. give him a honker. <laughs> yeah. Either a honker or a fucking Michael Jackson. Just, just a little tiny. tiny. Just nothing. <laughs> a little tiny with a little nub. Oh. <laughs> what if he like whistles when he breathes? Like what if they get one of the airways wrong? So it's like, see. <laughs> he's pumped on it because he's had a deviated septum. And he's very excited. I'm very jealous of him. Yeah. Because I can't smell. I have oh, no yeah. smell. You need a whole new nose. Dude, yeah. but, and the doctor's like, we might have to do surgery. Because if I pull my nose up, I can smell like a little piggy. What? Yeah, I took Katie had a nail polish remover. And I was like, look, nothing. And she's like, stop doing that. <laughs> I'm like, still breathing. <laughs> so I was like, That's what that I didn't did. even be touched. <laughs> I did that during COVID. I was like, I can't smell anything. And they're like, you can smell, dude. You're lying. I was like, I took a bunch of bleach. I was like, <laughs> yeah, nothing. Nothing. And they're like, dude, you should chill. <laughs> but I was doing that. And then I like pinched my nose and pulled it up. And I was like, oh, there it is. Really? Yeah. So I don't know. But every time I go to the doctor, they're like, there's nothing we can do. I got to give that a, that a shot. I think, it's, for me, I, it's the same shit, but I blame it on weed, like, just the years. I yeah. don't know if that actually has Well, I smoked been. cigarettes for so long. That's what uh, it was. I just would always blow oh, through really? my nose. Yeah. Dude, you know, I'd always exhale like this. That's sweet, It's though. the best way. Yeah, it looks so cool. <laughs> it's but in middle school, inhale. I really just looked like I was going through it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's great. being like, pre was tough. <laughs> Damn, dude, I'm jealous of McCusters going to be able to breathe so well. Yeah. Yeah, I have but a deviated sleep septum is... too, but I try not to bring it up because he's very serious about his. I don't oh, know. he like out serious? No, he's just serious. I don't care at all. What do you mean? So like, I, I have it. I can't breathe out of this nostril. At all? Yeah. Actually, that was perfect. <laughs> maybe it's that one. No, that's the good one. Don't you ever think about it? Maybe I don't have it. <laughs> don't you ever think anyway, about, yeah. don't you ever think about opening it up though no just, just a pull. classic mouth breathing dude this whole dude. episode should just be nose breaths <laughs> anyway you know we got they, that going you know how they edit <laughs> clips you know how they edit clips together where it's like <laughs> yeah they got me on one of those you know how they get macho man with those yeah they go <laughs> 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 they, got me, they got me with one yeah. where it was like the mushroom kicks in he's like yeah oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love the one with the when you and your boy get a bag yeah, he's like, and it's him and Hulk Hogan he's like, he's oh, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dude there's one that's going around now of old school Memphis Tennessee macho man when he's cutting a promo and it says when you're drunk on Coors Light telling your nieces and nephews about it and he's like, I played baseball. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was very good at it. <laughs> yeah, it's like an old, old Macho Man promo. Dude. Where did he play? He played for the Cardinals. Yeah. Cardinals drafted him. Damn. He must then he threw his... out there. Dude, check this shit out. He threw his arm out 
And he was so athletic, he taught himself how to throw with the other arm and move from pitcher to catcher. Yeah. Damn. He's like, yeah, I'll just do it with the other one. Meanwhile, <laughs> with my good arm, I'm like, I throw like a girl. Dude, they could hit, <laughs> hitting a homer off of him and him just being like, God, God yeah. I told you not to pull the slider. Is this the pitcher losing his shit? Yeah, you gave it away. You gave it away. You no, know I don't like the crowd. The saw, saw baseball. I went to a Twins game during... Uh, COVID, so it was like empty. That's awesome. Yeah. And I got the you can hear the pitchers fucking lose their minds when they give up a home run. No yeah. way. Those dudes spaz. You know when they put their glove on their face. Yeah. Like, fuck. <laughs> fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> There's an empty ballpark. Everyone's just like, whoa. <laughs> MLB needs to bring that in. Yeah, get a mic. Yeah, mic get a mic. Like they mic up the wrong players. Mic up a pitcher yeah. when he fucking lets a dinger go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> Because that's there's no way you feel anything but that. Yeah. All right, I gotta play this because speak. We're talking pitching. It reminded yeah. me of this rocker. Rocker's remarks on our show back in November. Me of outraged Met fans. It was do, do you remember John Rocker's quote, dude? Yes. I remember exactly. He it's said, crazy. He goes, "Why would I want to go to Shea Stadium where I take the seven train, yeah, yeah. which is filled with a woman with seven of her kids, a guy <laughs> with a pink mohawk who probably has AIDS, <laughs> and he throws so batteries." Queer. <laughs> <laughs> Am I getting it pretty close? He's very close. <laughs> Rocker told SI he would never play for a New York team. Here's a recap of his most inflammatory remarks. Quote, imagine having to take the number seven train to the ballpark, looking like you're riding through Beirut, next to some kid with purple hair, next to some queer with AIDS, right next to some dude who just got out of jail for the fourth time, right next to some 20-year-old mom with four kids. It's depressing. And about New York City itself, Rocker said, the biggest thing I don't like about New York are the foreigners. I'm not a very big fan of foreigners. You can walk an entire block in Times Square and not hear anybody speaking English. Asians and Koreans, Vietnamese and Indians and Russians and Spanish people and everything up there. How the hell do they get in this country? I think. <laughs> Who's it? That's John, That's John Rocker. Rocker. Old pitcher for the Braves. He's He's Kenny Powell. I think it was, I think That's Colin was Quinn on Weekend Update. Because they brought out, they like did that joke or oh, whatever. Really? And Colin goes, well, the guy's definitely been to Queens. <laughs> <laughs> but then that was Will Ferrell's, like one of his first breakout things. Really? He showed up on Weekend Update with the Braves jersey on the hat. He's like, Damn. I'm John Rocker. Ooh. I throw heat. I throw heat. He was just like oh, yelling wow. at it. I, I can't find it. I've been looking for Will Ferrell as John Rocker. It's an interesting connection because that was, because McBride and McKay did Foot Fist Way. Yeah. And then. That I mean, it's Kenny basically Powers. Yeah, he's Kenny Powers. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it was making me laugh. Of uh, the biggest thing I don't like is foreigners. Dude. I'm not a big fan of foreigners. <laughs> What's even better they, they get in this country? <laughs> you can walk a block and not even hear English. My favorite is the reporter voice saying crazy, yeah, crazy shit like that. Where he goes, and he said, "Quote these gross ass foreigners <laughs> yeah. be smelling like." Ch cooked chicken hearts the main thing i don't like about new york is the foreigners i'm not a big fan of foreigners <laughs> dude what's rocker up to now balling out he's got to have a car dealership. i got an autographed rocker jersey do you really break yeah, yeah. That's sick. but they just blessed you with it yeah really yeah. no not really it was a comedy club they were like what do you want i was like a signed rock if i can get anything uh autograph john rocker jersey. <laughs> dude i would take i would take you know what your next one has to be Signed Scott Norwood Bills jersey. What's Scotty Norwood up to? <laughs> trying to forget about 1990. <laughs> Just trying to forget about 33 years ago. Yeah, that has to be one of the toughest fanhoods of all time. 90s? Bills. Yeah, that, that three. Straight. I'll tell you what. They're not liking your boy right now. Who? I was on Santino's podcast and I told a story which was true about when we were walking through the parking lot of the Bills. Dolphins playoff game in this late. They can't slowly, know until, un until we live together. Slowly unravel that. Yep. Yeah, I had. Uh, yeah, I oh, had, it's man. at a point now. She'd be like, "Let's go out to eat." I'm like, "What's the point of going to a restaurant at all?" Dude? <laughs> yeah. We're making sushi for Valentine's Day. Ooh, that was big. That Homemade was sushi. Big win. Yeah. Real dude. Va going out to? Did you ever go out to dinner on Valentine's Day to like? Yeah. It's fucking sucks. Yeah, especially now. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. It's Especially in New York, you'll be in some like wood shed with a space heater. Ugh. Yeah. There's all there's it's it's again, heavy audition phase vibes. When you go out to dinner on Valentine's Day, it's all people have been dating for like six months. They the like guy will get up to go to the bathroom and be like 
You're like, well, you fucking knock it Ugh. off. Come on. Come on, dude. True. Just go out to dinner, complain about how expensive it is on the way home, get a hand job three days later after the dust settles, dude. Don't be a fucking Become asshole. a man. Be, sir, dude, for real. That's number one of being a man, dude. Is it not enjoying time with women? No, no, not that. Because not I agree. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've become no. a full man lately. Are you really? Yeah, I don't know what happened. No, the, the whole move is just being like, first of all, if you get caught arguing with a lady, your fault, no matter what. That's your bad. If no. You, if you get caught arguing and no. you get angry, that's on you. I've learned this. This is you have only yourself to be mad at. All you have to do is just be like, hey, as soon as the voice gets raised, all you have to do is go, hey, man, just because you're loud doesn't mean you're right. Let's take a break. Yeah, but what if you get falsely accused of screaming? Because that's usually in the that's it's, in the playbook. It's you're all, yelling. It's like, no, I'm not. You have to go. That's, where that's the, the one you got to say, no, I'm not, instead of, no, now I'm screaming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is what I sound like. <laughs> is that how I said it? Yeah, no, for real. It's like when you were just yelling, or yeah, of like, well, you were yelling at me. It's like. No, I definitely wasn't. It's like, you, yeah, you were. And they just get louder. And you, dude, I just go like this. This is how you're going to talk? I'm not getting yelled at. I'll take a break. We'll come. We'll reconvene. You have to. If, I'm telling you, dude. When dudes fight with girls, I just go, that's your bed. Shake my damn head. That's your bed. <laughs> Again, we can all get caught in it 100%. But it's like, that's that. That there passion, is, dude, it burns. It fucking scalds. Especially me. when women are dumb. When they're getting fucking dumb as fuck when on you. When they're dumb as fuck and they're saying something yeah, very dumb. I can't. That's, that's my... I have a real tough time with that. Yeah. I have a tough time with that when anybody does something that I can't figure out why they would do it. Yeah. And I don't shut the fuck up about when you can't, it. When you, when you can't, what, pertain the motive? When you can't pin the can't motives? Pin a motive or like, like, what are you being, why are you acting indignant? Yeah. You're the one who fucked this up. Or like you are, yeah, when it's like, what? Are, why are you mad? Like, my ex would spaz if we were late. Mm -hmm. And like, we'd be going to my parents' house. We'd be five minutes late. Yeah silent car ride and i'm like we're going to my parents house like don't worry about it and she'd be like i'm not mad you're making me mad now and it's like fuck you're like i know this isn't true <laughs> yeah what you're saying is false <laughs> this is a falsehood you wench <gasps> yeah man i'm telling you that's the that's the move it's like you can't ever but we were late because i was playing fifa <laughs> so really you know a lot of times we'd be late because i'd be like hold on there's we're in the 75th minute have you ever been late because of her uh, almost definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. So any any kind of equality for like, well, just imagine how mad you'd be right, I'd be right now, dude. You just have to. That's forego the hardest over. thing to put down. Forego is that over. argument of like, just imagine if the roles were reversed right now. Yeah, dude. Because never mind. Yeah, dude. No, it's, you're imagining women can also imagine. <laughs> <laughs> they imagine. Do you think they imagine? I don't it's, think they it's dream. Different. It's different. They don't dream. They, they wake up and dream. lie about dreams. <laughs> Every woman's dream journal is just her making up. Stories. I don't think they. I don't think they sleep. I think they, they, just, they, they lay there and just imagine different ways you can betray them and wake up and be like I had a dream last night. You, you cheat and it's like pig. You bitch! I know you weren't sleeping. You guys don't sleep. <laughs> yeah, they don't sleep and they don't dream. They're lying about dreams. If you find a dream journal, it is entirely made up stories. Falsehoods, dude. Yes, it's just lies they're planning to tell. <laughs> that's all I do they wake up and they're like I had a dream last night it's like why are you lying you did it <laughs> why are you lying to my face <laughs> dude I can't wait to hold it down and be like dude I know you don't you sleep you guys can't sleep I know you don't sleep that's why dude did you ever notice women will get hangovers and just pop up and it's like women you fucking plow through hangovers dude it's crazy they'll just be like oh yeah I like fell over last night they'll just be like out like if I fell over doing yoga and you're like huh if I fell over drunk, I'm in a coma for three days. Yeah, dude. I mean, you've seen many podcasts. because you need sleep. You've seen podcasts <laughs> where I've fallen over the night before, and it's just... Yeah, dude. Last week. What's because <laughs> Last week, I was like, yo, you got to carry this episode. That's because men have muscles and men need sleep. Women jacked. don't have any muscles, so you don't need to sleep. Exactly. Exactly. That's, Man. you know, that's why hate, we have dreams. It's why our seeing, muscles are being hate built. seeing youngsters that just think hangovers are nothing. <sighs> Yeah, it's a funny one to watch. It's like, yeah, all right. yeah I don't get hung over. It's like, yeah, you will. Well, it's like, yeah, it's because your organs haven't started to fail you yet. Yeah. But they'll catch up to you. Yeah. We'll start sending you some messages. That's, I'm telling you, that's something you got to do. You have to make a decision around, I think, around 30 ish to be like, I'm a drinker, I'm not a drinker. Yeah. You can't, you can't go either. I mean, I, I don't know True. anyone who just has a couple. I mean, I know a couple people, but they're very few and far between. And I think even they, every now and again, wake up and they're like, Oh yeah, it's like have like a quick six. Yeah, 
Because if you have like two beers. Oh, yeah. You can get hung over off fucking three beers. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And it's also like. Dude, I was running it. Last two weeks, Matt. Yeah. I'm not beer bragging. I hate to be an eighth grader on this. <laughs> you, how, many beers, how many beers do you have? I've done the math on oh, the last. Because two weeks. I've done shows. Basically, <laughs> I hate beer bragging right now. I I sat there. I was like, man, I feel like shit. And it's like, yeah, I must have had 150 Miller Lights in two weeks. <laughs> like, you know, I like, yeah, I probably had 150 beers. <laughs> I was easily drinking 10 oh, plus fuck. beers a night for two weeks. Oh, my God. <laughs> I woke up like, man, I can't believe I Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was probably 150 Miller Lights. Oh, I was, dude, the battles I was getting in. You get into a hundred plus beer <laughs> streak. Yeah, dude. You get in that kill streak. You run into like, I was arguing with like pizza companies, dude. I was calling like, you fucking tricked me on your grub hub, you motherfucker. <laughs> I got in a battle in Raleigh. You probably got the drones inactivated and Call of Duty battles like yeah. sequence activated. Oh, dude. I... <laughs> Just with that drone where you control it, just never hit anyone. <laughs> just hit, hit a roof every time. Like, uh, someone shoots you while you're looking at your tackle box yes. bomb. I got in a battle with, uh, I don't want to name the pizza company because a lot of people will probably DM them or something. True. But there's a, there's a pizza place in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I, you know, a couple Miller Lights deep. Sure. DM, or not DM'd, uh, Grubhubbed. They had a thing called Wacky Wednesdays. Okay. All right. Now it was Friday, so I was a little put off by this. So there's trap in. Wait, what? It was Friday, and they had a deal called Wacky Wednesdays on their Grub Hub. What the fuck? All right. It's called Gumby's Pizza. Okay. They rule. Here's yeah. the problem. Don't attack them. I was wrong. Really? I was one eye in the Grub Hub, so I misread the stipulations of oh. Wacky Wednesday. Oh. So it was like one large pizza and. Or one large pizza, pepperoni rolls, or something else. So I ordered a large pizza. Click that. Done. Yeah. Then I'm like, oh, six pepperoni rolls. Definitely add that. 17 bucks. What a deal. Yeah. I'm feeding me, Wood, and O'Connor's. We're going to feast. Yeah. Order it. It gets there. You know how, like, when you order it, I guess you don't. What, Grubhub? Yeah, when you're sitting there waiting for, like, an hour for Grubhub, yeah. and you're like, oh, I can't wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to stipulate the drunk the drunk part oh, where you're like, like where time is, time is it? Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Just, it's like it's been 10 minutes. Oh. Uh, now I wasn't hammered, but you know, they were building up. Yeah, and uh, just the pepperoni rolls came. Oh, and stop! I was like dude. you forgot the pizza, and the guy was like, "Oh, I'll, I'll go back and check at the restaurant." And I was like, "All right, thanks." Like I, I'm not a dickhead. I yeah. wasn't being like, "Where you're, the fuck you're pretty is nice customer. I used yeah. to be a motherfucker. I'm customer always nice to customer service, except when I call. I called. I called the pizza place. I was like, hey, I think you guys forgot the pizza. And the, the girl who worked there was like, yeah, I know. It's a fucked up, like, it's weird. We get this a lot. It's weird to order like that on Grubhub. It looks like you get both, but you actually only get one. So I was like, I paid $25 for six fucking pepperoni rolls. Dude, how wacky like, is this Wednesday, It's dude. wacky Wednesday, dude. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Gumby's pizzas are in college towns only. Yeah. So they're probably dealing with just college kids. Yeah. Get tricked. They're like, all right, whatever, dude. Yeah. Life's a highway. They didn't know they were running in. They didn't know they were running into a fat buzzsaw just in a in a, ho in a hotel by himself. Like, where the fuck is my pizza? Just like a pizza constitutionalist. You're like, I will not be. Have, I will not have my rights infringed upon. So then the lady's like, Yeah, my manager's. He's not going to give you the pizza. And I was like, Can I speak to your manager? And she was like, Yeah, of course. Whoa! I get on, dude. This guy sounded like you ever hear like Zach Galifianakis do his southern accent? Yeah, he's just like Gumby's Pizza. Hello, <laughs> and I was just like, you fucking Confederate traitor. And I was like, you you fucked me on this deal. Yeah, it's like where's the pizza? Hey, give me the job. Dude. I was like, you fucked me. And he was like, well, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to take that up with Grubhub. And I was just, <laughs> I, was just dude, I was like, thanks for your fucking enthusiasm, dude. And he was like, well, thank you, sir. It was just the most. It was a gay Did you get battle. The pizza? Didn't get the pizza. What? But pepperoni rolls, they were so good. What? The pep rolls were so good that you rolled over. Water under the bridge. <laughs> but yeah, we called them back the next night. Got some more pepperoni rolls. Did you really? <laughs> so the same night, then the woodman ordered a pizza. Why didn't you just have them deliver their pizza place? They would have sent it right. They would have. Why did I would have had to buy another pizza at that point? And also, I just motherfucked the manager. 
True. I didn't want to order from them. Yeah. You know. So how does this even work? So on their Grubhub, you order both. I might be able to show you. I you, bet they still have this goddamn it's trick It's a fucking up. scam, dude. It is a scam. So you order both, and they say, oh, sorry. It only, you paid sorry, for both. Sorry, yeah. It says one large pizza, pepperoni rolls, or another thing. And it looks like you get one large pizza, and then you pick which side. But turns out you just get the pep rolls. What the They fuck? got me. That's fucked up, man. Anyway, I'm not gonna look up. I'm not gonna look up Wacky Wednesdays, but yeah, that's a trap. So then, me and O'Connor wake up the next day after Woodman ordered pizza. Yeah, pizza was terrible. I don't know what it was. Not wasn't, from Gumby's. Wasn't Gumby's. It was not from Gumby's. Gumby's makes that's the thing. Make good pizza. You can't argue with them. Yeah, because it's very good. Yeah, they can kind of. The pepperoni rolls were. I'd pay a thousand dollars for these things. Really? I wasn't about the money at this point. It was about being tricked by Wacky Wednesdays. True. But Woodman ordered pizza that was like cold mush. It was terrible. It was one of the worst. It felt like it was like dining. It was college, like dining room, oh. dining hall pizza. It was terrible. Damn. We'd had a couple of Millers and Buds, so mm. it did taste good Yeah. at the time. Yeah. Woke up the next morning. Horrible heartburn. Felt terrible. Oh. It's like that fucking pizza Wood ordered sucked. Mm. Called up the pepperoni rolls the next night. Did you? Yeah. They were obviously. Well, how long? Had 150 what, what, beers. Are these like Totino? <laughs> <laughs> 150 beers. Obviously, I'm only eating... Pep rolls. That'd be nice if you started doing, like, just eating pepperoni rolls so you can keep on drinking instead of doing Coke. <laughs> You're like, dude, I just need to stay up a little longer. Yeah, just party. order some. Yeah, let me fight a grub up manager. That's your Vaseline for your stomach, dude. Throw some pepperoni rolls. Your stomach lining is like, all right, we're good. That's the other thing. We, Me and O'Connor both got, like, real sick from pepperoni rolls twice. What? First time we thought it, it was a false flag. We blamed the shitty pizza Wood ordered. Wow. Then we got just the pep rolls. And it was, in fact, the pep rolls that were causing... You guys had heartburn? Heartburn, farts. Oh. Hard farts. Jesus, man. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. And then... Uh, well, it's also... The beers, too, will do it. Yeah, the beers will get you. Yeah. That many Bud Lights in a row? Yeah, man. Miller Lights. Um, yeah, but, yeah, they, these pep rolls are designed for college kids. Yeah. So they probably don't get too many complaints. Because you get that college kid stomach. You're just like... 